What's going on guys? I hope you're all having a great day. I hope you liked yesterday's video. We're about to go check on it now that it's light out and you guys can see it a little bit better. We're getting ready to bedline the truck. That's why we brought the truck bed over here with the help of our neighbor. He helped us carry this thing from the backyard. Still on the picnic table so that it's up off the ground and we got it ready to be sanded down and then pretty much blew all the leaves out, things like that, all the dust, got all that out. We already started to sand a little bit down, but we wanted to go ahead and turn the camera on and start bringing you guys along for the ride. We're hitting it with 120, just getting the clear off. We don't have any real bad rust areas. That's about as bad as it gets right there. And if you know 1990 trucks, that is very good for as far as your rust uh, you know, concerns go. So of course, sanding that all down to bare metal and hitting it with the adhesion promoter uh, once it gets down to bare metal, letting that dry and then hitting it up with our Monster Liner from Magnet Paint. You guys know I used their chassis saver yesterday. We're gonna go check on that. If you guys didn't see my video yesterday, it will be linked at the end of this video. So make sure you go check that out if you're interested in not only bedlining your truck, but protecting your chassis, your frame, or undercoating in general. Sorry if the wind's kind of bad out here, guys. I do have the Dead Cat mic on, covering up the mic right now. Uh, so hopefully it's not too bad, but I know it's kind of also the audio a little bit. It's super windy out here. But I'm going to go ahead and show you what this kit comes with. Before I tell you guys what's exactly in this kit, just know their two-gallon tool kit is on their website that I will be linking down below. You can use code PARADOX in all capital letters to get 10% off any orders over $40. And their two-gallon tool kit that is on their website comes with four blue foam rollers, two coarse brows, scuff pads, two wooden... Uh, sticks to mix it with two disposable roller pans one roller frame one paintbrush three pair solvent resistant gloves one drill bit for mixing we're going to talk about that in one installation guide we're actually going to be they give you rollers uh, which worked great for the frame chris wanted me to tell you guys that uh, the rollers that we use today for the front of the frame actually worked a lot better than the foam brushes just want to put that out in this video again we're going to go check out that frame here in a second once i get done with this intro out here but we're going to be using the spray gun that's also offered on their site with this little canister right here that's going to be holding it we're going to be mixing our performance catalast into our monster liner one gallon jug we're going to be using one ounce of performance catalast per every quart of bed liner so that's the ratio right there we're going to be using our spray gun at 60 psi our air compressor we're going to be setting at 60 psi you can go from 50 to 80 50 being the finest than 80 being kind of the roughest texture i think 60 is kind of a happy medium i like a little bit less texture uh, rather than rougher texture and we're going to hit it up with at least three solid coats once we get done prepping it again check the link in the description below i definitely suggest their products and you can get 10 percent off by using par code paradox all caps on their website so let's check out this frame that we coated yesterday i'm going to come in here lighting should be a lot better now and you guys can kind of check out how this turned out i think it turned out great it's got that glossy black finish that i love it's gonna look really good and last a long time really happy the way this stuff turned out this chassis saver from magnet paints you guys really liked yesterday's video I appreciate all the feedback you guys were leaving below. It really helps a lot. So that's an up close look of the chassis saver, how it looks the day after in better lighting. I hope you guys can hopefully see it pretty good. Just know in person it looks great. So we're going to set you guys up on the tripod. I'm going to grab it over here real quick. Put you on a time lapse. Get this stuff prepped out of the way. Get all the boring stuff out of the way so you guys don't have to you know, deal with all that. And we'll see you in a minute. One more quick thing that I wanted to mention before I started the time lapse is make sure you use acetone after you sand to make sure no debris is on there. Make sure it's a clean surface so that the bed liner can adhese the proper way. So make sure you use acetone instead of lacquer thinner. Do not use lacquer thinner. Very important. Do not use lacquer thinner. Use acetone for this monster liner bed liner. Just want to put that out. We'll see you guys in a minute. Start the time lapse.
right guys, just wanted to update you really quickly before we start applying the acetone that he's unscrewing right now and breaking the seal up. We pretty much got the entire bed sanded. We had a lot more surface rust than I initially anticipated, so we got that taken care of. It took us a lot more time than we thought it was gonna take us though. We did get the ball for the gooseneck out, sanded it down, gonna spray that with bed liner. Also, we got the tailgate sanded down, gonna spray it with bed liner as well after we hit it with the acetone that he's just starting on right now. All the bare metal spots are gonna get hit with an etch primer. All the hard to reach spots like underneath the bed rails they're gonna get hit with an adhesive promoter, just a 3M adhesive promoter, your regular 3M etch primer, nothing special about it. Like the bare metal spots, just to give the bed liner something to grip to, they're all gonna get hit like right here where we had surface rust that I showed you guys in the beginning. That's all gonna get hit with a, a 3M etch primer. And again, under the bed rails or hard to reach area is gonna get hit with an adhesive promoter. Uh, I've used it before, it turns out really good. So we're gonna use it again. Also been using our air gun to blow out all the dust and debris uh, prior to using the acetone. So we should get a really nice adhesion. This bed liner should last us a very long time. Just really quickly, I'll show you guys what we're going, where we're going to on the side of the bed rails. We're going to stop right where you guys see that red tape start. That pinstripe right there. That's where we're going to stop at. That's where we're going to mask off. After the acetone, we're going to start masking off the bed rails. That's pretty much the last step other than mixing the paint, which will just take a second. Again, we're just going to that pinstripe right there. I'm gonna spray everything above it, and this stuff should turn out really, really well. So we are very close to spraying time. Now, it may get dark out here. If it does, we're gonna pull my buddy, buddy Chris's truck over here. He has a light bar, so we're gonna get a little bit better lighting for you guys. It, it may get dark, you know, it's winter. Winter is coming, so it's getting darker really quick. It's really not that late. It's just getting dark super quick because of winter. But I hope you guys are enjoying this video. This would be a great time to hit that like button. If you haven't already, I'd really appreciate it, guys. We did take these girls off the back tailgate that that guy had on there. You guys seen these girls. If you watched my video when I went to go pick up the truck, we saw these that night. I told you these were coming off. They finally did come off. But I'm going to start helping him out, put this camera back on the tripod, start the time lapse again, and I'll see you guys as soon as we start getting ready to spray. guys so we we're about to get started spraying we just acetoned it all put the primer down put the adhesive promoter down masked it all off got to do a little bit more masking right here uh got to finish this up real quick but for the most part got the sides done to our line that i was telling you guys about a minute ago we we're about to mix up our paint and our spray gun where's the spray gun i showed you guys earlier it's gonna be using this spray gun right here uh, with the bottle that was supplied right here and should go on good I'll see you guys in a minute. All right, real quick guys, cause I know you are gonna ask in the comment section, this is how we're doing this. We put part B, which is the catalyst we showed you earlier, into part A, the entire bottle of that into the gallon jug of the bed liner, mixing it with the supplied mixer using our drill. You gotta have your own drill, but they supply a mixer. That is the tag that was on it right there, the paint mixer. They do supply that, mixing it for three minutes. So B, like into A, mixing for three minutes with the supplied mixer. Then you put it into the white bottle. This is if you're gonna spray it. You can roll it on, uh, but you're just not gonna use this bottle. But since we're spraying it, we're gonna use this bottle. We're gonna pour it into this bottle, and then we use a ounce of acetone once it's in the bottle. So mix that up, fill the bottle up, and then you're good to go ahead and put your spray gun on it and start spraying the bed. So I know I was gonna get asked that question, so that is what we're doing right now. Next time you see us, we'll be applying the bed liner.
All right, guys, we just got done with the bed. Man, does it look great. I'm really happy how this turned out. It went on very, very well, went on smooth. Didn't take us too long, but it did get really dark out here. So it's gonna be kind of like the frame. I'm gonna show you the best I can tonight, but don't get frustrated because in tomorrow's video, I'll definitely be showing you this thing when it's light out so you guys can see it. We are gonna throw a tarp over it so no, so if it does rain tonight, uh, but I wanted to obviously not throw the tarp on it beforehand so that you, you guys can actually see it. So I left the tarp off. We also have our tailgate and our gooseneck hookup over there. We sprayed those as well. Those turned out awesome. The lighting's really bad and the camera's kind of running in and out of focus, but we will definitely be showing you guys this tomorrow. The camera is going crazy right now because of the lighting situation. So I'm gonna go back inside, but it is done, it looks great, and we'll show you guys that tomorrow. I appreciate you guys making it all the way to the end of this video. It really means a lot to me. If you enjoyed it, please leave a like down below. It really helps grow the channel with the YouTube search results. Again, I'm gonna be leaving a link in the description below where you can go directly to their website if you're interested in this product or the Chassis Saver product I used yesterday in yesterday's video. Just use code PARADOX in all capital letters to get 10% off an order of $40 or more. I hope you guys did enjoy tonight's video. If you did, let me know by leaving a comment down below what you think about it. We're gonna see it in the daylight tomorrow, so I'll see you guys in the next one.